Hello, history enthusiasts and all curious minds. Welcome to another episode here at the Top 10 Den. Today we're embarking on a journey through time, delving into the dusty scrolls of ancient history to uncover the might, grandeur, and somewhat brutal legacy of the Assyrians. One of the most powerful empires in the ancient world, the Assyrians have etched their mark on the tablets of history with iron and blood. Buckle up, this journey isn't for the faint-hearted. Starting off at number 10, we'll look at Assyria's location and its significance. In present-day northern Iraq and parts of Syria, Turkey and Iran, the ancient Assyrian Empire was perfectly situated at the crossroads of major trade routes. The empire's wealth was boosted by this strategic positioning. Think of it as the ancient version of a Wall Street meets the Silk Road combo. At number 9, we explore the formidable Assyrian military. Known for their ruthlessness and military innovation, they weren't just some ragtag band of warriors. They were a well-organized, disciplined, professional fighting force that employed iron weaponry and horse-drawn chariots. Not to mention, they basically wrote the book on siege warfare. Their neighbors were not pleased, to say the least. Number 8 brings us to their writing system. Cuneiform. The Assyrians adopted this form of writing from the Sumerians and created vast libraries filled with thousands of clay tablets. One such library was the renowned Library of Ashurbanipal in Nineveh, which served as a major source of information about the ancient world. It's like the ancient predecessor of the internet, but no cat videos, sadly. Speaking of Ashurbanipal, at number 7 we dive into the rich line of Assyrian rulers. Tiglath-Pileser III, the Sargon II, and Ashurbanipal, to name a few, led the empire to its peak. They were often depicted as lion-hunting warriors, showing off their strength and courage. This tradition eventually became the in-thing for ancient Near East rulers. Talk about setting trends. For our number six, we look at the Assyrian religion. Their pantheon was filled with gods and goddesses, each responsible for different aspects of life. The supreme god was Asher, after whom the empire was named. Religion played a crucial role in Assyrian society, and it was believed that the king's authority was granted by the gods. I guess you could say, the gods liked, commented and subscribed to their reign. At the halfway point, number five, we focus on the Assyrian legal system. The Assyrians developed one of the earliest sets of laws, no, not quite as old as the Mesopotamian Code of Hammurabi, but still pretty ancient. These laws regulated many aspects of society, from trade and property rights to family law. At number four, we marvel at the architectural wonders of the Assyrians. From the grand palaces adorned with majestic winged bull statues known as Lamassus, to the city walls of Nineveh and the ziggurat temples, Assyrian architecture certainly has the wow factor. Unfortunately, Airbnb did not exist back then. For our number three, we delve into the Assyrian economy. They were savvy traders, their land being rich in resources like metals and textiles. Trade agreements, contracts, and even early forms of banking were part of this ancient society's economic landscape. Now that's ancient sophistication. At number two, we look at the Assyrians' prowess in science and technology. They excelled in mathematics and astronomy, and their sophisticated irrigation techniques were key to supporting a growing population. Who needs modern tech when you've got the ancient Assyrian know-how? Finally, reaching number one, we witness the dramatic fall of the mighty Assyrian Empire. It wasn't an overnight event, but a gradual process spanning several decades. The empire had overextended itself, and maintaining its vast territories became increasingly difficult and resource-draining. The administration became riddled with corruption and civil unrest, and the ever-present threat of rebellions began to take a toll. And then in 612 BC, a coalition of Babylonians, Medes and Scythians sacked the capital, Nineveh, leading to the empire's downfall. This attack wasn't a weekend affair either, but a gruelling three-month-long ordeal, a tragic end to a mighty empire, but such is the wheel of time. There you have it folks, ten astounding facets of the Assyrian Empire. Hope this journey to the ancient world sparked your curiosity and gave you some great trivia for your next get-together. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to show your support. Hit that like button, leave your thoughts in the comments, and if you haven't already, 
Subscribe to Top 10 Den for more fascinating Top 10 lists. Until next time, keep exploring.